Okay, you guys, here's a quick how-to for deployment for our pitfall traps. So uh, it finally stopped raining, um, and so I'm gonna do this demo right here in one of my uh, currently not very well planted vegetable beds. All I have is little chives going on here. So this is, this is an ideal place to do a, a little demo. So here I have my cups for the pitfall, and I'm gonna you know put those down, get or, or flip it upside down if you want, and get a sort of approximation for how big the hole is gonna be. Now th this uh, stuff right here, this is you know look at oh man look at those awesome inverts in there. So this is this is super great, right? It just it's it's turned soil. It's very soft. It's very pliable. There's tons of earthworms in here, right? Lots of um, uh, give and take. The soil is very worked over, so it's very easy. If we had very hard pan. So if we had something like my decomposed granite right here, that's gonna be a lot more challenging. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to do a, a prep hole, and after you've done a little bit of digging, come in and, and see how stuff uh, sits. Now, if we go down, hopefully you guys can see this, if we go down flush, that ain't gonna happen. This guy needs to be below the soil surface, okay? Because again, we want critters walking along the um, soil surface to fall down into here, right? So we want them kind of doopy doopy doopy, and then boom, Right down there. So let's try this. Now, here's another trick that I um, do. I put two cups together. This is really, really helpful. So what's going to happen now is I'm as I'm as I'm tweaking, as I'm adjusting, as I'm getting the um, the hole correct, uh, and and because I want this subsurface, right? I want this just below. Say my fingers are the top of the soil, just below the top of the soil, so that everybody falls into it. As I'm doing that prep, if I'm doing it well, there's probably going to be some dirt and stuff that falls in here. That's not the end of the world, but it'll be a lot hard. It'll make it more challenging for you to do um, your processing and, and clean stuff up afterwards. So let's just help us out by double stacking the cups. We'll do everything, get it all perfectly ready, and the last second we'll pull out the inner cup, and our inside and, and the the cup that remains will be nice and soil free. So okay, so I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna play around with this, get this guy about right. Does that look okay? So if we look at this, this is looking pretty good. This is this is just a bit below the soil surface. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna uh, take some of the soil that I excavated and make sure we have a nice flush, okay? And if, I don't know if, how well you guys can see this, but um, right now as I push it, there's still a little bit of a lip. I don't want that. I want the soil, I don't want the soil to be depressed like, I don't want the soil to be depressed like this around the lip which sometimes happens when you're compressing the soil after we've we've dug and dug a new hole. So I'm going to come and just, you know, re, re recover this, make this a nice flush surface, right, all around. All right. Okay, good. And uh, and make sure that it's just going to be a drop off for the critters that that walk up here. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. Um, okay, good. And then this this soil that's left over, I'm just going to take that and I'm going to scatter that, right? I don't want to have any kind of obstacles. I don't want to have any barriers to a critter trying to come up to my pitfall trap now. So I have this nice flush thing. And if we have a look, um, this is looking, there's a lot of stuff in there, right? And so, of course, we could just pour our, our liquid in there and, you know, go with it. But that's going to be a lot more work for you. So let's save ourselves as much as we can. So what I'm going to do now is now that it's good to go, I'm just going to lift out that inner cup. All that stuff is no longer in my trap, and there we go. So pretty cool. As far as putting our uh, coolant in there, if you have your coolant, go ahead and just do that. Um, if you have something like, in this case, I have our, our food grade glycol, or if you had to use vodka or whatever, right? Again, this is nice and clear. We wanna have a visual check to make sure that when we go to retrieve this in, in five days time, that it's all good. So I'm just gonna put a couple drops of food coloring in here and close this and then just give this guy a little bit of a stir okay cool now we have this nice uh homogeneous uh very obvious color liquid right so we can see this if, if you haven't done this before maybe we want to take a picture and just say oh, okay this is this is my color now since you guys are doing multiple traps i would make up a whole batch of this it's enough for all of my trap deployments so the color is consistent so when you go to pull in your traps you can see is it you know, is are these three traps fine and this fourth one not, not was it flooded or what have you? So, okay, so we got that. Then all we got to do is pour that dude right on in there. Perfect. There's our trap. And the last stage is just to cover it, right? So we don't have any coyotes or dogs or anybody or sprinklers messing with it. And so in this case, I have a, <coughs> excuse me, I have a, oh my God, I got Corona. Uh, I have a, um, 
uh, plastic uh, container. You can use a plate, you can use a bowl. In this case, I've used a bowl. And I just grab some screws and, uh, and, and, and punch the screws through the plastic itself and then went with it. So I'm just gonna take this guy, put this over and just a little bit of a depression so the wind isn't gonna take it, right? Nice and, nice and anchored in there. And so it's nice and solid. Now, if we come down and look at this, let's see if I can get an angle for you guys. There we go, right? So we, we have about an inch or so, inch, inch and a half clearance so that um, our, our uh, ants or our beetles or whomever can go, go on in and fall in that pitfall trap. So there you go. So there's the deployment of a pitfall trap in our backyard. Same exact method we would use in grasslands, wetlands, wherever. Have at it. And I can't wait to see your guys' data.